So I'm gonna do a video right now on how to make your own broccoli sprouts. Um, broccoli sprouts are really great for improving inflammation. If you have inflammation in your body that you wanna get rid of, um, I'm using mine to help with lupus and fibromyalgia that I have. Um, so pretty much what you do is you soak some broccoli seeds. So these are like the broccoli seeds that I bought. I bought them on Amazon. Um, I got a, you know, a pound bag of them. Um, I took two tablespoons, soaked them overnight, and then I have rinsed and strained them. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add them in to my broccoli sprouter that I bought as well when I purchased these seeds. So I'm going to take a little bit and just add it into the bottom here and spread these out some. So if you can kind of just see what I'm doing here. Now the advantage of having a sprouter is it just kind of takes down a lot of um, the complication of having to, um, you know, water them and everything like that. It just makes it a lot easier. If you've never done sprouting, I've never done sprouting myself personally, so I just wanted to make it as easy and as convenient to do as possible. So let's be honest, nowadays, if things are not easy and convenient, a lot of times we're just not gonna do it. So make it easy for yourself. Um, if you've done sprouting before, then maybe you won't wanna have to invest in something like this because a lot of people use just like simple mason jars with some netting. There are ways that you can do it without actually having to buy a sprouter. Um, but for me, I just felt like this was the most convenient. And what this does then is it just stacks up. There's little holes in the sprouter so the water drains all the way through. And the trick is you want to put these, they're in the dark for the first three days and then the second three days they're in the sun. So, and you just water them twice a day with about a cup of water doesn't really have to be exact. All right, so now we've got our broccoli sprouter here. And what it does is you just pour then the water in the top of the sprouter and see how it just like works its way down. So it takes all kind of the complication out of it. So and you want to put that somewhere dark then for a couple of days, but water it at least once a day, preferably twice a day, the first three days, and then put it in the sun and continue to do the watering. And then you can just eat them. Um, I froze a lot of mine with my first batch that I did. Um, it uh, produces quite a bit of sprouts, so you can't eat them all at once. So the ones that I can't eat all of, I go ahead and I freeze. And you can add it to smoothies, salads, whatever. Um, they taste really good. Um, the only thing I noticed is when they were growing is it does kind of stink. Like it, you know, smells like when broccoli's cooking, it kind of smells. So, um, I went ahead and I kind of put them somewhere that I don't have to smell it. So that's the only downside I found. Uh, but they do give you a lot of energy. Um, kind of like when you take like a vitamin B supplement and that kind of natural sort of energy that you get. It gives you that sort of nice energy boost without caffeine. And it's also helping to get rid of inflammation in your body. Um, I recently started working out again. And with me having lupus and fibromyalgia, I'm trying to do as many things as possible to help fight the inflammation in my body so that I can keep working out and fight through, you know, the pain to continue to get healthy. Um, I'm going to keep trying to post some videos so you guys can watch me um, 
my journey from unhealthy to hopefully help healthy and you know a better me so I can be healthy and strong for my daughter and live a healthy life. Hope this helps somebody else. Thank you. Bye.